Hi there and welcome to my tutorial on how to electrify an existing track in Train Simulator 2012. Um, editing a track requires me to um, go into the editor first. So I'm going to click on editor and on the left side you see an overview of all the um, routes installed into Train Simulator and I want to find a, a route that hasn't got um, an electrified track yet. So Oxford to Paddington uh, is partly electrified but not entirely. Um, so um, I'm going to use that route to um, uh, for this tutorial to show you how to uh, electrify an existing piece of track. What you don't want to do is um, uh, edit the uh, standard route that comes with a uh, train simulator. Um, you want to clone it first because if you make a mistake um, on your already existing route, um, you're going to screw it up. So always, um, when you do modifications on a route, just always uh, clone it first. So you can select Oxford to Paddington and then um, uh, click on clone route. I'm not going to do that right now because I already did that. It's right here, Oxford to Paddington Electrified. When you press on clone route, it will ask you to uh, rename your uh, route and it will also uh, ask you if you want to copy all the uh, uh, scenarios so also tick the um, uh, the scenario clone scenario uh, box I think if I can yeah I can show you it without doing it actually so here you see that little box clone scenarios so I'm gonna go and um, open up um, my already cloned root here. I'm going to press on edit root. It's going to load up for a while so I'm going to take a break and come back when it's uh, loaded. So I um, just loaded the uh, root into train simulators editor. Uh, as you can see I have four tracks here um, which are uh, not electrified yet. I don't want to electrify all four of them, I'm just going to do two, uh, two of them. Um, but first I uh, want to show you uh, where you can find the uh, editing uh, tools. Um, they're on the left side of the screen, they're quite hidden right now, but when you ho hover over them, they will slide open. They will also like slide back when, you, um, when you're not hovering on them. So I don't want that, I want them to stay in view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide one open and then push the push pin right there. And I'm going to do that for all the... Uh, the windows here so they'll remain in view. There we go. Okay, um, on the top um, you can find all the uh, edit, edit, editing tools. Uh, you have a little house here, object tool, that's for like all the scenery you can see around here, the trees and stuff. So if you want to place some more trees, you can find them in the uh, in the object tool button. You've got the uh, linear object tools. That's where we are going to work with. Um, you've got the painting tools, so you can paint the, uh, the land or whatever. And you've got the uh, scenario tools, which is um, where you select your train or make a new scenario. So we're going to press uh, Linear Object Tools and then you see some options coming up. 
what I want to do is I want to select a stretch of track first. Uh, and so I'm going to need the select tool for that. Makes sense, right? Select tool you can find here. It looks like a dotted square. I'm going to press select. And then I'm going to like, then I'm going to right click once on the uh, track I want to uh, edit. Okay, that's not the track I want to edit. I want to track, uh, edit the other one. Let's try again. There we go. You see uh, a yellow box uh, popping up and another yellow box. When you move out your mouse to the front, or when you follow the outline of the track, it will um, uh, go with you. Let's just go over here. It's not following me. It comes really precise sometimes. Sometimes you have to move the camera like right behind the uh, yellow box to make it go forward. There we go. Okay, there we go. So you can you can basically do this like for the entire stretch of of, uh, of track. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna go. Well, let's see, let's go over to that bridge over there. Here. Okay. So I'm, I'm, now I'm going to click my um, uh, left mouse button once again. And then you see uh, another window popping up. And that window describes the, uh, the, the track, the track options, uh, which you just have selected. So as you can see, the track uh, uh, track kind is like uh, Oxfo pad default. I want, want it to stay like that because if I change it to something else, I don't think I can even change it here. I could change it right here. Um, it's going to screw up um, the other tracks as well. You can see um, the speed limits. It's a main line track. Up and down means you can go both both ways on the track. And here you can see a little lightning bolt icon. And uh, that's where you choose if you want to uh, electrify the track or not and what kind of electrification. Like you can choose overhead wire, third rail, or a fourth rail. I'm going to go for the uh, overhead wire, so I'm going to click that. And then I'm gonna uh, right click. And when I'm gonna do that, you're gonna see, I hope you can see it. Let me go this way. There we go. So when I right click now, it's gonna uh, produce the uh, overhead wires on top of the uh, track I just selected. There we go. So now you see the, uh, the wires over the track. So and that's basically how you electrify a track. Okay, I'm going to go back from where I started the uh, electrification. long stretch of track. Okay, I think I started right there. And there. And I'm gonna do the other track as well. So I'm gonna um, choose select again. Uh, left click. And let's go all the way. There. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, left click. 
choose overhead wires, right click, and there we have the other track. Now, to make it more realistic, you don't want to leave it like this. You want to uh, also play some cat, Catherine. <laughs> Difficult word for me. Um, you need to play some masts to hold the, uh, the wires. Catenaries or something it's called, right? Um, so where can I find those catenaries? Um, you can find them in the uh, linear object tools. Um, let me just think, I don't think right there, I think in the objects tool and then, yeah, track infrastructure. Yeah, so choose, um, click on object tools and then click on the little signpost icon, track infrastructure. And you can find a really, really handy tool in there. It's called the O wire gantry tool. Let me just find it. Here we go. Click on that. And immediately you can see when you like hover over the track, it's going to produce a uh, gantry. And what's so, uh, I don't particularly like this type of gantry, but um, just to show you how it works, you just click once and then uh, Train Simulator will automatically place the next pole for you. So you just need to click your, your left mouse button a bunch of times to create all these um, gantries. Sometimes it will stop like it does now. I don't know why it is. I guess it's this time because there is an object in the way. So you just right click and right click again. And you just like, doesn't come so super precise. You just click on it again and just go further like this. So that makes it look like a little bit more realistic. I like the other types of gantries uh, more. I don't think I will be able to use them on these track let me try try that out um, let me see where are you gantries yeah auto gantry here we go okay I got two tracks so I want to have times two okay this is not gonna work Okay, the thing with um, Train Simulator is when you've got more than two tracks um, uh, close by, so here you've got like four tracks, um, the auto gantry tools won't really work. What I was looking for is this. times two, no, times two, no, times two like this. So that would mean I have to place them manually because I don't want these tracks to, I don't want to electrify these tracks. So it doesn't make sense to have like a whole four track post on there. So you can also do it manually like this, but that's really time consuming. I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. And that's basically it. That's how you electrify a track. It's pretty time consuming, consuming especially um, uh, selecting all the track uh, you want to electrify. But um, it's worth it because you can... Um, you can drive one of my favorite trains on there, the class 390, all the electrical trains and go like faster. So there you go. Thanks for watching.